You may remember a few blogs back when I mentioned that there was a hidden case of CC near the Kingdom of Tonga. You don't? Well, I did. You can check it out. It's in my entry about Tonga. Anyway, if you do remember my mentioning it, thank you. I figure since I'm doing a short series of blogs on the cases that CC hid throughout the world, and since this blog is about me and my involvement in research into both CC and this contest, and also since there is a case near the starting point of the reality show adventure I'm trying to get on, then I should write about that case. What do you think? Besides that I need to shorten my run on sentences. Good, me too. I if you said I should write about that particular case. If you said no, too bad. That's what I'm going to write about anyway, so there. The case in question is on Robinson Crusoe Island in the South Pacific. It's a little over 800 kilometers away from Tonga. No really, for that part of the world 800 kilometers isn't really that far. Google it. There's like almost nothing out there but water. Where was I? Oh yeah, Robinson Crusoe Island. RCI, which is what I'm going to call it now, is, as you may have guessed, named after the famous Daniel Defoe novel, The Adventures of Robinson Crusoe, which was inspired by the true story of Alexander Selkirk, who was stranded there as punishment for attempted mutiny, and probably also for messing with the space-time continuum. I mean, seriously, they named the island after the book that was written about the island? That's insane. It used to be called Juan Fernandez Island, but I guess discovering it isn't enough. No, let's name it after the guy on an island in a book that just so happens to be this very island that already has a name. All so that the fictitious character can live on while both the explorer and the real guy the book was based on can be forgotten in the annals of lore and the history of our times. That makes me sick. So let me state clearly right here and now. Let us not forget Alexander Selkirk and Juan Fernandez who did something that I don't feel like wikipedia right now. May their memory live on! So anyway, according to the ad, getting the case will start with flying to Chile. Upon your arrival in Santiago, you will need to contact a Mr. Carlos Griffin, who works for Taxpa Airlines. I could give you the phone number listed on the ad, but I must remind you the ad is 40 years old, so the info might be out of date. In fact, a quick Google search has revealed that Taxpa Airlines was shut down in 1979, so I'm guessing calling Carlos about it is probably a sore spot for him. I bet he wouldn't much appreciate it. You can, however, reserve with the good people at latintrip.com, who will take care of getting you from Chile to RCI, including full accommodations on the island. They also invite you to join a local fisherman to check his lobster traps. That sounds amazing! So, now you're on the island. The ad tells you to get into a handcrafted canoe and spend three hours braving the ocean swells to go to Pangol Bay. I am totally in. That sounds wicked cool. The ad then tells you to travel to the caves that are on the opposite side of the island. The caves that are sometimes underwater. The ad says the case is under some boulders. Under some huge boulders. In a cave. Among many caves. That are sometimes underwater. Well, there you go. Good luck, and you're welcome. I don't know if my adventure will include amazing feats of strength coupled with almost certain death, but I hope I make the final 15 and then the final four so that I can find out. And if it helps, drink Canadian Club whenever you drink socially, but never ever drink and drive.